so far I've only used the bathtub once because I feel like when you buy a house with a bathtub like this, you have to use it. So I did and I'm good now. Now I'm back to the shower. This is Zed DJing. Now, here is Zed walking. Hold up, this one right here is Zed run. What is up, Mining Tribe? Mike DeMazzo here to help you make sense of dollars. Our mission is to help you get the f out of debt and build wealth. Zed Run isn't a new thing to the NFT space. It is the world's first digital racehorse. I know, it's definitely something up for debate considering Link had his horse in The Legend of Zelda as the first digital horse. Am I right? So this is the Kentucky Derby of the Metaverse. I know I can't go to like Del Mar and watch the horse racing or see everyone with their fancy hats. The next best thing I'll settle for is being impressed by people's Twitter profiles, be it they have punks, me bits, or apes, whatever it is. It's kind of like the new way to kind of flaunt and like flash out like, oh, I have this NFT. All right, so what makes Zed Run different is, well, instead of other types of collectibles with NFTs, such as NBA Top Shot, Nifty Gateway with art, or even like virtual real estate with Sandbox, this falls under the category of NFT games. It makes it unique because each horse has its own characteristics and no two horses are the same. See, you have the ability to breed your horses and race them as well. So at the time of this video, only about 11,000 horses have been sold. Now, this is this was definitely recorded just before the drop, which I'll get into later. So you can go on the secondary market like OpenSea to purchase a horse. Because it is a digital horse racing, the platform race takes place every hour on days that end with Y. Basically every day. Owners pay an entry fee to run their horse against others for prize money. So on top of earning potentials on wins, you can also breed your horses. Let's talk about the drop talk. According to replies from Twitter and the general community, the drop was a miss if you did not get one, obviously. So that's definitely understandable considering how people react when they don't get packs with NBA Top Shot. So not everyone will get a horse when the market does open for that drop. Here's one of the problems. There was zero cooldown for people. So some people were able to buy like 200 horses at the heart of Zed Run. It's strategy, one word that I always have difficult time pronouncing. A strategy game built around finding the best distance and classes for your horses. That's the whole gameplay. We're gonna be able to build up to that. Now, it comes down to breeding to unlock the winner gene. Then the terror drop, it went live via email email for the drop. Now, I get it that you could make it as an announcement, but having the link on an email sent out the link to the marketplace with the recommendation of not sharing it. Like, people are going to share that, especially when you tell them not to. So, a suggestion could have been a queue system and kind of like have others wait and assign them a random place in line. You know, something we've seen before, like NBA Top Shot when they have their drops. Sure, you may have to go on the queue to wait in line and you go a whole 30 minutes before, you know, finding out your place in line, which is basically 100,000 on a pack drop that only has 10,000, but at least there was order to it. And it's not just a random email and click that link and then you're in the marketplace. Final thoughts. So I do like Zen Run, even if it had a rough start, but I'm not going to be pursuing it. I just wanted to review it. According to NFT OG Pranksy, it was a monopolized early market with few people owning everything. So this was way back before when they first launched. Now, you know, it's just a different feeling. I feel like they might've gotten better. For me, I didn't participate in the drop because I wanted to sit this one out and watch everyone else in the market to see what they would think. So question for you is, were you able to purchase the horse on the marketplace or did you go to the secondary one with open C? Sound off in the comments below and definitely let me know. Lastly, tap that thumbs up for this video because it helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you really like videos like this where I do NFTs, financial independence, just all that sort. And as always, I appreciate your time and being able to subscribe. And if there's any new projects you want me to cover, let me know down below. Stay legendary and I'll see you in the next video.